so bfs is a graph traversal technique so how it explores the graph is that it first visits the neighbor which are one unit distance like if we start from zero first node one and node two will be visited then it visits the neighbors which are two unit distance that is node four and node three will be visited and so on okay dfs is also a uh, graph traversal techniques but dfs explores a particular branch first then it moves on to the next branch so like if we start dfs from node zero it will first visit one then it will explore the whole branch of one that is then four will be visited now nothing more is left to explore so we'll backtrack from here okay similarly if we would have started from like something like this if we have visited node two first then we would have visited node two then we would have explored the branch of two that is we would have visited node three and so on okay uh, next uh, algorithm is topological shorting let's suppose we have a graph something like this this zero to one indicates that this directed edge indicates that to complete the task zero we need to complete the task one first okay so there can be some complex relation like this which can be represented as graph so to solve this type of graphs we use topological shorting okay means we want to resolve which task we should perform first in order to complete all the tasks so to resolve these type of problems topological shorting is used okay khan's algorithm is same as topological shorting but in topological shorting we use dfs but in khan's algorithm we used bfs to resolve this type of problem okay dijkstra dijkstra is the algorithm like let's suppose that if we want to go from node 0 to no, uh, to any other node like and these edges represent some weight let's suppose it represents 10 20 30 and 40 okay and we want to go from node 0 to all other nodes and we want the shortest path or the shortest or the minimum cost in which we can reach to all other nodes then dijkstra algorithm is used okay now and then then the last algorithm is prim's algorithm let's suppose this is what this is a graph and we are each edge represents some weight like this is 10 this is 20 30 okay 40 and 50 we can remove some of the edges and we still want the whole graph to be traversable okay and we want to traverse the whole graph in minimum cost so to achieve such a graph we use prim's algorithm that is if we want to achieve a minimum spanning tree of this graph we use prim's algorithm okay